Round one, fight! So you can- What's up guys? Corin Dave here is another episode of Zap Talk. I am pumped for this week because we've been talking about one of these books for like six months now. We're coming at you live from the back of Zap Comics. Yeah, this is like the back back. This, this is, is like the Street Fighter level version of Zap Comics. This yeah, is going to be like, so, yeah, this, this is, is where you fight. I'm excited about this because um, since Rebirth came out with a Watchmen button that was uh, put in there very cleverly. We, and I guess up. after this we're going to learn about Jokers too, right? But first we're, we're dealing with the Watchmen. The Watchmen and also uh, Flashpoint with, uh, with uh, Batman's dad. So this ties into every, every, everything like that. So this has to do with the button, which is and it's called the button. Mm. It's by uh, Tom King is and the belly button. Uh, no, Tom King and Jason Fabic. The reason why this is cool is that there's a 3D lenticular cover. This is only available in the U.S. and Canada. It is not available internationally. So this book is going to be hot. We've been getting requests for this forever. Yeah. Very very excited. There's also the standard cover. There's an international cover, and there's also the Tim Sale um, regular variant. But this is big. Like this is. Uh, well, I mean, it's a normal size book. No, I know that. In but the it, scale. It, it, as far as. But like, as far how... as it's gonna go, it's huge. And Jason Fabic did the original 3D cover <coughs> that they did for New 52. Oh, Remember coffin. when they did like um, the Joker with the the all the teeth at you and stuff like that, and yeah. the Black Manta and all that stuff like yeah, that. A couple that other things cover. with um, Rebirth, they did that cover where it's Flash like reaching for. Yes. And he's just getting obliterated. So, so this, this is this going is cool. to be the button being held by Batman, and it's mm -hmm. gonna move yeah. like you're changing perspectives and yeah. it's going to be the flash holding because it as well batman and flash are two of the best detectives and they're going to try and figure out what this button means what does this button mean we're going to find out so what I'm is the surprised. smiley face this with blood big, eyes big week for uh for batman so and dc and the comic shops are they finally going to figure out who watches the watchman i don't know if we're going to find out i watched the watchman i saw it in the theater it was pretty good did you watch it on DVD? Did you watch the extended cut no. with the boat stuff? No, I didn't. Me watch neither. It. I've had it forever. I never watched it. Somebody let us know if it's good. Yeah, cool. Figure so, out who watched cool. it. So I'm sure we're going to be getting calls. So I've been getting a lot of requests for the lenticular covers anyway. So, so if you're an, an American, a North American, you'll be able to get one cover. But let me know. I know in Trump's America, I'll find a way to get you that cover, everyone out. All my friends in other countries. And, uh, Somebody got, here to fight? <laughs> round one. You got a uh, secret. Fight. You got Secret Empire number zero from oh, this Marvel. Is cool. Marvel has promised that after this, there won't be any events for eighteen months. Eighteen months. That's what they're saying. So that's like they're gonna have two babies in that time. So, <laughs> so uh, Secret Empire, of course, uh, has to deal with the Captain America stuff. Captain America has uh, believes in Hydra, mm -hmm. and Hydra, which they're really saying Hydra is not Nazis. Hydra is beyond that. It's something else. So. In the same way, there's sleeper agents. You don't know who has been part of Hydra and how it's affected all of our past stories. Cool. So, we don't know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're also getting something for free comic book day, which is rapidly yes. approaching. They're going to get another preview. And um, we're going to see what happens. This is Captain America where he is the character when it comes to... He's the good guy. Yep. So, what has he been doing? Who has he been pulling in? And what is it going to mean for the Marvel yeah, Universe? It's going to be pretty cool. And apparently, this fall, they're supposed to kind of do like a, their own rebirth and bring back a lot of the original characters. Yeah. That have been, have been missing for a while from Marvel. So, it's going to be So, cool. they're going to be doing a whole kind of, not a reboot, but um, they're going to bring everything to be a little bit more traditional. So, I mean, just read it and enjoy it. I've been reading Infamous Iron Man, one of the thousand Iron Man titles. Doctor Doom is Iron Man, and it's really good. So, Mighty Thor is awesome. It's Malieve. And cool. Bendis. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. They're great. So just read the books, enjoy it. We're going to get everything back soon. I mean, if you want to read the same thing you've always read, all right. But if you want to have some fun stories, then Secret Empire Zero is coming out. We got, Venom, we got Venom number six. That's great. This, of course, has a major one in one, I think one in 1,000. Talking uh, about uh, things going back to the way they were. Yes, yeah, so it has a one in 1,000 uh, remastered uh, Todd McFarlane cover. Um, of course, that Eddie Brock is back. Eddie so Brock. This is, uh, I think it's one in 1,000, maybe one in 500. I believe it's one in 1,000. I think it's one in 1,000. Yeah. Yeah, so it's Eddie Brock is back. The standard cover for this is amazing, too. The Sandoval? I think the Sandoval cover. Yeah. Really, really, really neat. So everybody wants Brock back. He's back. And they're going to renumber this book, I think, the next issue at number 150. It's 150. It's going to be the official 150th book. Yeah. I think the longest uh, Venom series they've had ever was the one that Colin Bunn and Remender, and right? Remender did, yeah. which was mostly Flash Thompson. Yeah. So, so if you think about all the lethal protectors and all those weird books, they're finally hitting the 150 soon. And plus Venom's getting his own movie. So yeah. there's a lot going on with him so it's cool and it looks just good. Brock's back so it's awesome and I mean they've been doing a lot of covers with artists that aren't around anymore I mean Kirby obviously isn't around um, on earth Kirby this is 100th uh, birthday for Kirby yeah he was around and also we had um, some Jim Lee art for Marvel yeah and he's basically running DC and now we got uh, Mr. Image himself 
McFarlane. And you also so it's good. Revisiting. Another throwback uh, is Frank Cho has been doing amazing variant covers for DC. On Harlequin 18, there's another cover with Harley in her old garb, where she's like looking in the a little dig at the movie Harley. Yeah, Quinn. she's she's wearing the new garb and she's looking in the window at the. Uh, oh, she's wearing the old garb. She's looking and in the she's window looking at the, new, at the costume in the, for the, new stuff, the, the Suicide Squad. Yes, and she's movie. like window shopping. So it's yeah. cool because the last couple covers have been selling like crazy because she's wearing her old stuff. So it's cool. Frank Cho is amazing anyway. So it's a great cover. The stuff he's been doing awesome. is amazing. What are you standing in? I don't know. My foot's all wet. I don't know, this thing's full of water. So. Nothing worse than a moist Cory Brown. Oh, God, that's... It's getting damp back here. If you want to come fight us, this is where we do all of our training, all of our fighting. Round two. So, again, huge week. Lenticular cover for Batman is going to sell like crazy, so... We ordered heavy, but just keep in mind that they uh, will sell very well. But, yeah. And we'll see you guys at the shop. For David, I'm Corey. This is Zap Talk, and we're at... Uh, is that Sciences over there? Zap Comics. See, we have it. This is what happens, like, you know when a play lets out and everybody waits with their pamphlets to get them signed? This is every time we leave at night. This is where everybody <laughs> lines up, just to make sure we sign. Bye, guys. Bye.